It's Jim from McConnell Labs, manufacturers of Light Elegance Nail Products. Today in Chemist Corner, we are going over what curing is and UV radiometer versus digital micrometer. What does that mean? We'll go over that here in a second. Uh, the Chemist Corner number four. What we're going to look at today is what a UV radiometer is. This is one type of equip testing equipment that we use to measure the output of light from a lamp. So a curing lamp, in this case here, I'm pointing towards our LED dot, our newest light. It emits 365 and 395 nanometers versus our plus light, which emitted 365 and 405 nanometers. And then I'm also going to evaluate the horseshoe style OPI light, which is 405 nanometers. What this will do using a sensor, the sensor will go ahead and retrieve information from inside the light, transferring that to a number, a numerical value, which we then can record. That numerical value is what the emittance is on that light. Um, difference between that and a digital micrometer, a digital micrometer actually measures not the emittance from the light, but the effect of the light in curing the gel. So we'll take some uncured gel, put it inside the light, cure it for the recommended period of time, and then after that period of time, measure how thick that film is formed. So this will be very, very interesting. Uh, one of these lights I have never tested before, so this will be new for us. The key thing here is that when we're talking about the cure thickness, we take a gel, so the gel that I have here on the form is represented by these two flat lines. The light comes down from the light and cures the gel. On the top surface, once we remove the sticky layer, we'll have 100% cure, and I use quotation marks because it's not really 100% cured, but it's pretty, pretty close-ish. But at the bottom, we have 0% cured. That is still liquid. About halfway down, we have 50% cure. So this is gonna be our, what we call the maximum cure thickness of the gel. We can monitor that cure thickness using a digital micrometer. Um, this is about 20 bucks on Amazon. It's really, really cheap, and it's a great way to see how well your light does when curing your gel. So it doesn't have to be our gel and our light. It's any light, any gel. You do some evaluation work on your own. The more knowledge you have, the better off you can be able to do your job. The other thing is keep, keep in mind is if the maximum cure thickness is going to be, let's say, 20 thousandths of an inch, if you measure that, you don't want to apply that gel at 20 thousandths of an inch because at the bottom portion of that gel, it isn't cured. So you don't have enough bonds being formed to give you good adhesion to the substrate below. So you want to make sure that you're somewhere half of that cure thickness, that maximum cure thickness, when you apply your gel. So what does all of that mean? Let's start by testing our LED dot. So if I put the sensor inside the LED dot, um, and I'm going to put it about where your fingernails might be. We're running right now about five, and this is measured in milliwatts per square centimeter. So we're about five milliwatts per square centimeter. If we take that and put it inside the plus light, we're measuring right about 4.2 milliwatts per square centimeter, which is actually fairly good. And then if we take this little mouse light and we turn it on, we're measuring about four, a little bit less than four milliwatts per square centimeter, which really surprises me that it's actually that good. And then if we take and turn on the OPI light, we are at about 0.4. So not surprising because this light emits a lot of light, but it emits it at the visible spectrum. So at a spectrum or a wavelength that is greater than what this sensor can actually pick up. So this is a UV, it's not a UV light, it's a visible spectrum 405 nanometer uh, LED light where these all three lights here that I tested do emit in the UV spectrum. That's the reason why I was able to sense them. So I'm going to write those numbers down so we don't forget them. The LED dot was right around 5. The LED plus was about 4.5. 
the mouse was about 4 and the OPI was about 0 0.4. So valuable information for us to have. Now I'm going to put this away because we don't need it anymore. The key thing with that is that tells us what the emittance is in the UV spectrum range. What we're going to do now, we are going to go ahead and cure some of these items. And I'm going to put it inside the light. And then I have to put something inside the light to have it turn on. So I'm just going to take a form, activate the sensor, and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. We're going to go ahead and cure this one. And then I'm going to need another sensor, activator. We'll put, yeah. Activate this one. Turn this one on for 60 seconds. And put that in. Now the key thing on our gels is that we do formulate our gels, so they will cure at 405 nanometers, 395 nanometers, 365 nanometers. So we should get good curing all the way around. We'll come back and revisit this here in a little bit. All right, so now all the curing has been done. It's completed after 60 seconds. So now I take a lint-free cleansing wipe and a little bit of cleanser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cleanse the top layer of the gel, peel that gel off of the form. On the form, you're going to see that there's still a little uncured gel there. That's the 0% that I was telling you about earlier. And we're going to go ahead and cure, cleanse off the bottom portion. And then at that one location where it was not cured underneath, I'm going to go ahead and measure the cure thickness. And we are at 0.0445. So that is 44 and a half thousandths of an inch cure thickness in the OPI light. So we're going to go ahead and do cure thickness. And that's 0 0.0445 inches. Pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the LED dot. Go ahead and, again, the uncured gel. So we have 0% cure at the very bottom of that. By the way, this is a test that we perform each and every day on every batch of material that we make here at McConnell Labs. So if you ever want to know what the maximum cure thickness is of any gel that you ever purchase from us, give us a phone call. We can get that number to you. So here we are at 0 0.0335 on the LED dot. So this is, oh, wrong color. 0.0335. Five inches. Now we'll try the plus light. Clean off the sticky layer. The reason why I clean off the sticky layer is it's not good to handle uncured gel if you can avoid it. So that's what we're trying to do is avoid it. Again, remove the uncured gel from the bottom side. Measure it. 0 0.0250. Write that down, 0 0.0250 inches. And then this is the, the little mouse light. And I've never tested this light before, so this will be interesting to see. So I remove the uncured gel again from the bottom, measure this out. We are at 0 0.0280 inches. So 0 0.0280 inches. So if you remember earlier, we, took, we measured the emittance, and we can't measure the emittance for the OPI light with our testing equipment because it doesn't measure visible spectrum light. But the dot gave us a 5, and it gave us a 0.0. 335 cure thickness. 
the plus gave us a 0.45 and it gave us a 0.0250 inch cure thickness. The mouse gave us a four and a 0.0280 cure thickness. The OPI, we got a 0.4, but that's not fair because our equipment doesn't measure it, but we got a thicker cure at 0.0445 inches. Reason why this cure thickness is thicker is because the photo initiators that we use to make sure that it's active at 405 nanometers react very, very well, especially with white gels. So the other thing is, is that the longer the wavelength, the, the faster and the easier it can penetrate through pigmented systems. So that's one of the advantages of a long wavelength, visible spectrum, violet color, light like the OPI light. So you can get one of these, again, for 20 bucks, and then you can measure how effective your curing is in your lamp with your gel. And then you can also figure out how old or how uh, long your light is going to last if you want to buy one of these things and keep a log. So you can tell, take, you know, take a look at the gel, write down, this is our ideal white builder gel, write down in your log ideal white, write down the lot number from the bottom, write down the date that you do your testing, and write down the results from your testing. And then every three months, repeat that test using something as simple as a $20 piece of equipment that you buy from Amazon. And if you can do that, keep a log of it, and then if you are getting, say, 0 0.0335 inches cure thickness on this gel with your LED dot, and then over a period of time, maybe in two years, this is down to about 0 0.02 inches, it might be time to replace that dot light. So I hope that that was helpful. Again, Jim McConnell, Chemist Corner, McConnell Labs, manufacturers of Light Elegance gel nail products. Thank you.